Hello, this is Brett Bumeter, at Brett Bum on Twitter, and I wanted to share uh, something that I thought of yesterday, something that might be helpful in ShareSell. I was doing a search on WordPress themes. I'm a bit of a WordPress developer, and I share a lot of uh, WordPress themes with my clients, particularly uh, StudioPress when I'm working in ShareSell. And if I do a quick search on products, this is following up on a uh, program, I can see uh, the thumbnails for lots of different StudioPress themes. Now I'm not building a store or anything like that. Um, this is mostly just something useful to quickly show my own clients uh, thumbnails. Um, that's all I was looking for. However, I would like to be able to show them things that are popular. And if I come in here into the advanced search tab, I can choose two options, seven day uh, earnings per click or 30 day earnings per click. And that might give me a better idea of what's popular within the last month or so. But I would like to see uh, keyword by product uh, for 30 day and 7 day earnings per click. Now that's on the search, that's important, but more importantly I would also like to see that in the make a basket thing. So I came into, I uh, created a basket after the seminar and when I get to the point where I want to make a page um, I would also like to have that sort option. That's actually what I was requesting. I'd like to be able to sort the make a page result with the most popular products at the top of that display list. So I've added uh, basically all of the themes that StudioPress offers. Uh, so after I've got these themes in here, I can come up and import those into make a page. This is a share sale thing for people coming in here. And there's a sort order option oops, uh, right here for how you can sort those. What we have is the merchant ID or the price, the SKU, most of these for this particular kind of deep dive don't apply, but I would like to see 30-day EPC, 7-day uh, EPC in there. Actually, I'd love to see like 3-month and 6-month as well. From there, for those that haven't seen this before, I can pick a, things like thumbnail image, the product name, maybe a description, and I can then view the results. And down here it kind of displays what you'd get in the output. Uh, there's some HTML, CS, a little bit of CSS at the top, and then the HTML that generates all these uh, little thumbnail images. Love that, but I'd like to have the better ones, the better selling ones, the more popular ones on top. Hope that makes things a little bit more clear.